continue to follow the breaking news, the global Microsoft outage all around the world, including in Paris, where it's affecting the Olympics just a week before the games begin. The organizing committee said in a statement that they have activated contingency plans in order to continue operations. It did not immediately provide details on how its operations were affected. And there are even impacts in Australia where a supermarket chain reported their self-checkout machines have been rendered useless and are displaying the blue recovery screen. Some other stores in the country decided to close their doors due to the ongoing outage. And many of us are having questions about how this outage happened. Let's bring in Adam Isles, principal and head of cybersecurity at the Chertoff Group. And Adam, a lot of people are asking who is CrowdStrike and why are they so crucial to everyday operations around the world? So CrowdStrike is a market leading provider of what are known as endpoint detection and response cybersecurity tools. Uh, these tools are some of the most important tools that are out there in the marketplace. And the reason is this. Bad guys have gotten really good at changing uh, malware code, the IP addresses they're coming from, and that's trivial for them. What's a lot harder to do is to change their behaviors and their techniques. EDR tools look for those things. They look for suspicious behaviors, they detect them, uh, and they shut them down. And in order to do that, these tools need to be constantly doing content updates to their, uh, to their uh, algorithms to look for those things. CrowdStrike is everywhere. Uh, they are in banks, airlines, hospitals, uh, uh, energy companies, um, but because of uh, the, the quality of their product. So moving forward, is there a way to prevent this from happening again? Yeah, so this was a, this was a content update that somehow crashed the operating system. And there are three things that need to happen. One, um, I think CrowdStrike is going to be, you know, taking a look at root cause analysis for why did this happen? I mean, they're constantly doing these things, so they've got processes in place to make sure this doesn't happen. Something obviously went wrong here. Two is, in the immediate future, uh, government agencies, companies need to apply the, the, the fix that's out there. The challenge is, you know, with the operating system shut down, if, if you have to restart it, you've got to get past encryption. So you need recovery keys, and those need to be applied. And in many cases, they need to be applied manually. So it's going to take time to do that. But we need to get through the immediate response and recovery. And three, it, this raises questions about resiliency, which is, you know, uh, is this the first time or the last time something like this is going to happen? Maybe not with CrowdStrike, but maybe with something else. I mean, we saw this with at t earlier this year in a different context. So what's our, what's our business continuity plan? How do we resort to manual operations? Um, you know, what, what testing and exercises can we do? And where are we putting critical data? So one of the things in, in this instance that is super important is having recovery keys available. Do we know where those are? Are those easily accessible? I guess we're going to learn a lot more after this. Adam Isles with the Chertoff Group, thank you so much for your insight this morning. Thank you so much for having me.